Hey guys, what's up? I'm GK from Graphics Training School and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a photo pixel animation effect in Adobe After Effects without using any plugin. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's create a new composition. Keep it around 920 on 1080 pixel, 25 frame rate per seconds and 10 seconds of duration. And let's hit OK. And I will create one more composition by clicking in this icon over here. And this time let's rename this to media. And let's create the final composition, which I will rename it animator. Now let's double click on the media composition and let's drag and drop our footage over here and press S on the keyboard for scale and let's uh, keep it scales around 60 and let's change the anchor point position. If you don't have motion tool too, you can use simply anchor point tool to adjust your anchor point and where do you want to put it. And now I'm going to align this into the bottom and the center. And you can find the align menu from the window. And let's keep it scale around 70. Let's close my media composition. I will go back to animator composition and here I will animate my photo. So simply control space on the keyboard, but I'm using FX Console Pro Video Copilot, which is 100 percent pre plugin, and you can download it. And let's add here checkboard effect into our uh, media composition and let's change the blending mode and let's change the width to around 20 and let's deduplicate it by pressing ctrl D on the keyboard and this time I will change the width to around 30 and duplicate it one more time and this time the checkboard uh, width to 50 and duplicate it one more time the final time and this time let's keep it around 40. So let's add here this into my composition. That's so amazing and that's great. Let's do some sitting. Let's change the force to around 10, the gravity to zero. The force center maybe 970 should be enough. And another position, let's change it to around 710. That's look very great for me, but I think the size of the grids are so big so let's change it a little bit smaller maybe I will keep it around 5 and the direction randoms to 30 and the speed randoms maybe to 55 should be enough it will be so great let's see the preview that's great Now press T on the keyboard for opacity and go to around 2 seconds and make a keyframe and then go to around 3, 3 seconds and here change your opacity to around 0. That's look great for me and now let's deduplicate it. I will duplicate it many times and I will uh, put it a second forward and you can do this as same as I do. So I have duplicated my composition, media composition 10 times and it's look great for me. So I want to make it a little bit brighter. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Press enter and let's rename this to glow and let's add her glow effect. And let's change the glow threshold to around 25 or maybe the glow intensity to around 0.5. And let's de duplicate it one more time and let's change the glow radius this time to around 130. That look pretty good for me. Now come back to your main composition. Let's press Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid for our BG. And let's add here ramp, gradient ramp effect over here. 
hide it for now and we will make it uh, ultra and we will change some setting in it drag and drop your media and animator composition and your main comp so now let's come back to background let's change the colors from black to the color of t-shirt of Cristiano Ronaldo and let's change it to a little bit dark and the type of the random shape to from radial to from linear to radial and let's swap the color let's change let's do some setting actually in this uh, gradient ramp and let's make our video faster So I think that's good for me. So let's add here a text over here in my background and let's write here CR7. Let's put it down behind the text, uh, behind the media and animator uh, composition and let's uh, keep it scale around 180. You can press S on the keyboard for the shortcut of scale and you can actually press T on the keyboard for the shortcut of T and let's change the blending mode from normal to soft light soft lighten I'm sorry let's change all layers to 3d create a new null object and let's actually change the null object also to 3d go to around one second and press P on the keyboard for position and create a keyframe then go back and time to zero frame and create one more keyframe on the position and make sure you have parent them all of them to null object select both the keyframes press f9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and then come to graph editor make sure you are working an edit speed graph and edit your graph something like this i think that's not it not have good looking for me so let's zoom it a little bit more So thank you guys for watching this tutorial and make sure you have subscribed the youtube channel and please write me down below in the comment what should be our next video about.